Hello everyone, welcome to the Cool Car Guys, where I tell you the latest and coolest bite-sized EV news. I am Kelvin here and this week we're going to China, America, Indonesia and back to Malaysia to find out what's new in the EV trends. Let's roll! Avatar Technology, a Chang'an Neo joint venture. The Chang'an and Neo joint venture recently renamed to Avatar Technology. Earth. Fire. Well, not these, Avatar. The company will be operating independently and will work together with Huawei and contemporary Amperex technology, CATL, or known as Ningde Shidai, China's largest battery maker to continue working on an electric vehicle platform called CHN. We are expecting to see smart car technology coming from Huawei, while CATL will be providing battery technology to power the car a great strategy to speed up their R&D. Tesla, they are coming for you. Lucid Motor showcases glass cockpit and the pilot panel. The California-based EV Lucid Motor has recently unveiled their initiative to improve how humans interact with their cars. It's the Lucid user experience. The glass cockpit is a 34-inch continuous screen stretched across the dash. The driver will find navigation, media, and communication commands. The driver and passenger can swipe anything and see them in details on the pilot panel. Also in the pilot panel are various vehicle control features such as seat adjustment and climate control. Otherwise, you can also ask the built-in Alexa for help. Show me the weather. Currently, in San Jose, 64 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Once done, you can retract the pilot panel for extra storage. We're still not sure when Lucid UX will be available, but we can expect good things to come. Indonesia Battery Corporation and LG building a $1.2 billion battery plant. According to Reuters, the state-owned Indonesia Battery Corporation, IBC, and South Korea LG will be building a new battery plant worth $1.2 billion with a capacity of 10 gigawatt hours, which will later be used for EVs from Hyundai. The state battery plant will be situated in West Java, which is a stone throw away from the upcoming Hyundai manufacturing plant. Being the world's largest producer of nickel, Indonesia is keen to tap into battery business and building a domestic electric vehicle battery empire. Malaysia, watch and learn! Samsung SDI accelerating all solid-state battery development. Samsung is speeding up its battery development. Samsung SDI announced on May 25th that it would develop large all-solid-state battery cells. They are expecting to launch the prototype by 2025 and initiate mass production in 2027. Only second to Toyota, Samsung claims that the all-solid-state batteries are capable of overcoming the limitation of lithium-ion batteries in terms of stability and energy density, offering more range shorter charging time and lower the risk of fires. BMW Malaysia teases i4, an EV sedan. Looking for a premium sedan so you can be shuffled around with style? The exciting BMW i4, a four-door coupe, has recently teased on BMW Malaysia website. The BMW i4 packs an 80 kilowatt hour battery and can store enough juice to drive up to 300 miles, equivalent to 590 kilometer on a single charge producing 530 horsepower, 0 to 100 in less than 4 seconds. The i4 will be going on sale in Europe in late Q3 2021. In the meantime, let's appreciate this i4 concept interior to give us an idea what to expect in the upcoming BMW electric car lineup. That's all I have for this week. If you like more content about electric car news, show me a little support by subscribing to this channel. Don't forget to share with your cool car friends. Until then, see you in the next video. Bye!